hey guys welcome back to another video of industrialist and in this video i will be like uh, making a plastic factory and you may be wondering that like i have a i had a lot of pollution but now there ain't any pollution in my world so my uh, my like pollution is gone now because of the scrubbers like this tutorial i made it reduced my pollution a lot so now i'm happy and like let me show you how much pollution i have I have literally minus 55 percent. Yeah, it is possible, and it gives you a lot of money in return. So yeah, it is nice, and my world looks really nice now. So now, let's start making the plastic factory. So let me first tell you like what things you need to make the plastic factory. So you need like this whole thing. You need the diesel refinery, diesel generator, natural gas theory, and like these things. And you here, right here, you need the water filtering, and you need the the water bottling, plastics, gas refinery, plastic molding, and like this water bottling. So you need these things, the plastic and plastic molding, and and these like this requires a whopping thirty thousand rp. This requires twenty five thousand twenty five thousand rp, and this requires eight thousand. And this requires also this also requires eight thousand. So yeah. So now first let let's start. So everything is like everything is there in the third tier in the factories. Right here we have the oxidation plant, bottling plant, plastic production facility, steam clacking plant. Yeah, it is plastic molding of machine and plastic refinery. So we need these things. These are the required things to make plastic. And like we are gonna sell plastic bottles, and like plastic bottles with filtered water, like a Fiji water thingy, like that. So first we need uh, a lot of power. For that I'm gonna use the boilers. I'm gonna use the steam, steam turbine. It is the best, best thing. So now let's, le I'm gonna make one steam turbine generator which produces a lot of power. So a quick thing. that why am i making a steam turbine generator it is because like it produces a lot of power like 50 mmf and so that is why i'm using it plastic factory requires a lot of power so that is why i, re I recommend to e i recommend you to make another one so that it like it produces plastic fluently without any disruptions so yeah now let's see building the factory and you can also use a geothermal well in place of the firebox So yeah, it uh, it is actually it produces what hot water without like um without more like like and without CO two, so that is why it is good. And I'm sorry for the disruptions in my voice. I'm sick for the past days, past few days. So th that's why. Okay, now let's keep building. Okay, so now I have replaced the geothermal well with the firebox. It is because like it is not producing power efficiently. So, yeah, I am using this only now. Okay, so the steam generator is finally re finally ready, and I am using firebox instead of geothermal well because it produces a lot of hot water, like two forty degrees Celsius. So it is useful. So now it is producing a lot of steam, and so a lot of power too. So now, let's start making the plastic factory. So for making the plastic factory we need first we need like crude oil and for crude oil you need the oil rigs so i am going to take like three oil rigs because they, they are enough so now let's connect these we are going to get some oil so now we need so let me first show you what factory we need so we need this uh what is what was that yeah this steam cracking plant you need this this is of 150000 like it requires if you buy it right here if it requires crude oil and it requires steam so we are aren't taking steam from this we are going to make another one but you can also take steam from this it's your choice too so now we need the crude oil to go there so for the crude oil let's do the pipelining so now the pipelines are connected and now we need steam 
So what is happening right here is that we need steam and crude oil. So crude oil and steam is equals to paraxylene and ethylene. These are required to make plastic. Like it is, it needs to be further processed with a lot of things. So I know, right? It is really complex. But yeah, it will get easier in the next in the rest of the factories. So now we need to produce steam. So let's make this contraption again. So guys, if you are facing any problem with how to create steam. You can watch my tutorial like how to my tutorial how to produce power. In that I have explained the whole process of how to make a steam turbine and how to de generate power and how to also like make steam. So like it's the same contraption I have made here right here. You just need you just don't have to add the steam turbine because you don't need to produce the power. So now let's continue building. So now I have made the I have made the steam turb steam producing boiler which is producing a lot of steam now so now we need to like get the steam from there to here right here so now and also like steam input hotter steam is equals to faster reaction speed that means it will produce the like tape these chemicals faster so yeah you need hotter hot steam so now let's connect these and wish they are a faster way to add pipes because like it's boring to click so much times in the same direction so like that so everything is connected now steam is going right here so now it is gonna produce ethylene and like paraxylene these are the two chemicals required for plastic production so now the comes the hard part how to transfer these chemicals to the other factories so now you need intersectors for them for that because they specialize in like transferring other things so now let me first explain you like where it is fi found so it is in the power section in the utility section like right here these these inter intersections like these are over engineering over engineered intersection pipes so now let me first show you it is located in the third tier so now there are three types the pipe intersection which is of like uh, item pipes this is mixed with item and liquid and this is all, all liquid so now we need all liquid because we need to like transfer this steam to right here and like paraxylene and ethylene to there right there so now we need to remove these two pipes and now let's do the pipeline work and I won't skip the pipeline work for this because it is hard and you won't be able to understand if I skip it so yeah thanks for understanding so these are going to go there so now we need these turn pipes okay that was a mistake Oh my god, why it is why am I making mistakes again and again? Like that. So now we need two of these intersections, intersectors. So I'm gonna add like that. So what happens is that like the the steam will go to this blue terminal and through this blue blue terminal it will go wait. Okay, this is the blue terminal. So like there are two terminals red and blue so I want the steam to go there so the red terminals terminal is there so now I need to get it to the red terminal and then again to the red terminal and then to the normal pipe so the steam will be again and again going there and I want the paraxylene and ethylene to go there so it is for the blue terminal blue terminal so I will add the blue terminal to here so now if I add pipes here Paraxine and ethylene should be getting into these pipes but first I have to connect these so now let's see wait why is this getting steam uh, uh, what wait let me see okay this is not getting 
Hola, oh, okay. So the paroxysm is going there and the ethylene is coming here. So what happens is that like there are two of these pipes and then the in the two of these pipes like when the steam goes through here it goes in this intersector and when I when we input it into the red terminal this goes to here as we have done the connection and then this goes to and then the steam in the red terminal goes to right here which then goes right here goes to right here and then the ethylene and paraxylene will go there so this intersector will be used a lot in this tutorial so that is why I have explained that if it uh, if I if I my explanation is wrong or if you it is still unclear for you guys you can ask me in the comment section so now the next factory is the so like this production is really complex like I mean really complex so now the next is we need the oxidization plant I am getting the oxidation oxidization plant first but you can take it later too so I will add right here so what is there this is ethylene so the ethylene will be going in it so let me first connect these and then show you what the description says so it is right here oxidizes oxidizes stuff so this is ethylene from steam cracking plant to meg so if we oxidize ethylene it gives us meg meg so we need it in like this is the final product one of the final products to in order to create plastic pellets which are then molded in to form plastic bottles so now uh, we need to oxidize the ethylene for that we need power and like we need a lot of power for this because it literally requires 40 mmf of power so I'm gonna take HMVT pole <coughs> as, as it is better and like that to the red terminal and then right here so now the power may be going go, going down don't worry because it requires a lot of power so that's why that's the only reason let's see if it is getting sufficient power nope okay so now this will like oxidize this roller will roll and then it will oxidize the acetic as the ethyl ethylene into acetate into meg MEG so now after the MEG is connect is done now we need ethanol which is alcohol it's a type of alcohol so we need the ethanol from this plastic refinery so it is crude oil plus water is ethanol so you can like separate this factory like I can you can add it anywhere else so like right here there is the crude oil factory we have a lot of crude oil so I can connect this pipe there also so yeah it's a recycle like not a recycle but still it saves our crude oil and it saves our headache kinda so section we need a section right here and the crude oil will be going there and also right there and then we need water so for water I'm gonna take two water pumps is sufficient or okay that's getting complex okay I can add the water pump right here then it will be easy enough so like avoid using intersectors as much as possible as they are really complex and you might make a huge mistake which will like you then have to delete your whole factory to like make it correct so I avoid using the use of the intersectors intersectors but it's your choice still so now everything will be going right there we need a junction let me just do the pipeline so now finally we are producing ethanol 
so I have also added another oil rig because the oil is getting insufficient that is why so we have the water and fuel going there ok so after we have produced ethanol now the next step is that you need to create acetic acid and for acetic acid you need to go to the plastic refinery par excellence oh I mean you need to create acetic acid right here in the plastic refinery like where do we have to create acetic acid man acetic acid right here okay ethanol from plastic refinery to acetic acid in plastic refinery um, what okay ethanol from plastic refinery to acetic acid okay this oxidize another oxidation oxidization plant oh my god we need more power too much power so I am gonna add this right here this to this terminal and we need another HMVT can we connect that I don't think so or oh, what oh my god yeah oh we can that's good so now the ethanol from right from the plastic refinery will go there plastic which refinery yeah plastic refinery so it is really good so the pipelining is done now and the ethanol is going there and then we will get acetic acid so now let's uh, make let's pipeline again man it is so complex for real so right there so from the oxidization plant the uh, ethanol from ethanol will get oxidized into acetic acid and then paraxylene plus acetic acid is equals to PTA it is the final product so from the parax now the pipeline will, will get crazy so the acetic acid will go there and man I don't know why acid we need acetic acid in order to produce PTA but okay this is a game so let's do the complex pipeline now first let me do the pipeline and then we'll meet meet you guys okay so let's get let's get that starting so I've done the pipelining and now we need the plastic refinery so paraxylene plus acetic acid is equal to PTA so now let's add these and also I have made the pipelines in the simplest way possible so you can copy them easily without any without much problem so here the pa acetic acid oh my god okay it is not simple now so the acetic acid from here will go here oh my god let me figure that out so plastic refinery that will so now I have done this contraption from like the paraxine will be going there and then the acetic acid will be going right here so we need to use a, an intersector again I know it's a pain but yeah making a plastic factory is a real pain for real so this red this red pipe will be red terminal will be going there oh my god okay so the acetic acid will be going there and then so like the pain is only to create the plastic pellets after creating the plastic pellets it is easy so I recommend you to do that then it will be easy so now everything is there the acetic acid in the paraxine now we need to power it for powering I am gonna use this terminal let me connect that so all the power will be going right here so now we are getting PTA so congrats like clap for yourself because this is the hardest thing so the meg will be going there and the PTA will be going there so now let's do the pipelining 
so we need to add another intersector to in order to like transport the maparaxlene and the meg right there i'm gonna call meg meg as meg because it is easier that way so right here th is the fluid pipes intersection so into the dry in the r in the red terminal and then into the pipes and this the meg will be going to the blue terminal like that now it will be oxidizing more meg is right there pt is right there so now the final step is of creating the plastic pellets is that you need the plastic production refinery meg plus pt is equals to plastic pellets so like that okay so what is this this is for meg nice and this is for pta now let's connect the pipelines i'm happy because this is the hardest step like the hardest factory of the whole game and i'm not really joking so the meg is going there and we need a power so now the we need another hnbt because like we need more power so let's add another hnbt right there right here so like that this will be going to the blue terminal and then there now let's see how much power we is left there okay it is getting drained really fast and the steam is still getting produced nicely so we need to add more terminals and more solar panels in order to support the power like it is no need because the only the battery is getting like the battery is getting drained but the power is getting getting to all the machines it's just that the power transfer is hard in the battery so you don't have to worry about that and you don't have to add more steam turbines like more turbines more steam turbines or more wind turbines so now finally we have got the plastic pellets let's go so now all the plastic pellets will be going so is it liquid no it is plastic so yeah so all the plastic will be going to a plastic molding machine which molds the plastic into like plastic pellets into plastic bottles or plastic casing we are gonna make plastic bottles so for that the plastic pellets will be going there right there so now there's a but there's a butter like lever here it tells us to like pull so if you pull it it is the gearbox and if you pull it again it is bottle again so like it is toggle off toggle on so it is now creating bottle or then it was it will create gearbox like that it is so now we need more power more pain more power simple Aha. so okay it is too far well that's obvious so the power will be going there and now i need to get another hmvt so it will be right there from the red terminal to the red terminal and to there so now we are getting plastic bottles we will get so now so now the final step of creating the plastic bottles is that you need a fill like you need this plastic uh, where is that bottling plant which puts filtered water into pl plastic bottles so now we need to get filtered water for that we need the water pumps and then we need the filtration plant right here so now we need to filter water so we will pump out water from the ground first like that so now first let's do the pipelining and get the filtered water so now this water will be going to the filtration plant so it is located in the second tier right uh, here it, uh, it is of twenty thousand dollars it is again a lot but we need to filter the water now for that we need power we need power for everything in this world so now the water will be going there and the filter water will be going out so now this filter water will go right there so we need a filter we need a bottling plant so 
in the blot bottling plant we need the okay we need another in another intersection i think so so like that i have the plastic waters are going in in the bot bottling plant and it is giving 500 km so now the plastic bottles are going in the bottling plant and now the filter water will be going refined water input for refined water only okay the devs have made a mistake sorry i guess but it's okay so now we need more power more power all the way so now the let's do the pipelining for the filter water to go in so like that all the filtered water is going into the bottling plant the plastic bottles and the filtered water so now we need power uh, again a lot of power so for that i will add another terminal like that the yellow is a uh, is that yellow okay is yellow so the power is will be going to the bottling plant like that so now congratulations we are finally creating plastic bottles filter with filtered water well it's a really complicated process i know right but yeah it's like that only it can't be more simple like i have made the sim in the simplest way i made this tutorial in the simplest way so now let's sell finally uh, let's sell these things oh my god why am i mis making mistakes oh my god that's the second time the cursor is bad okay finally so now we are connect gonna connect and now we are finally selling water bottles now let's sell it and see how much water we are getting so i have pollution in minus so like it will vary like i will get a lot of money it varies on the pollution level so yeah so now let's wait selling process is really slow for real man let's afk okay so i sold four water bottles for 620 dollars i know it's less now because of the pipelining stuff done in this factory i know it is really big but you wanted to create plastic and you asked for it so now here it is so guys i am really happy about the support you guys are giving to me and um, we are almost we can almost cross 100 subscribers so now let's do that and i will be making more tutorials like that and i'm sorry for the background noises and these disruptions in my voice today because i am sick and also like these background noises are really bad i know right because of my bad mic but now at least we are making plastic bottles so make sure to like subscribe to my channel and like drop your questions in the comment box i will answer to I, I will answer those questions and now we are selling these water bottles i'm really happy so yeah guys and also if you didn't uh, understand what is happening there here you can just go to a simple base plate like that like this open area and then just copy what i have made and you can also take the power from your other steam turbines but i recommend you to make a separate one for this whole factory so that you can power it simultaneously and so it doesn't stops when like if you are powering other things by that steam turbine only so hope you understand this tutorial hope you understand this tutorial and thanks for watching guys peace out and i'm sorry about this long video so yeah peace out